Hello Aquarius, this is your extended reading. So this is amazing. You know what? I I always feel like I cannot be surprised by the messages or the cards, but they always amaze me, which is incredible because whatever I was talking about in the first part that was related to, you know, wait a little longer to feel in your heart when is the time for you to choose this middle path? You don't have to choose one path that you feel like you're presented but is distorted and another path that is like a like more of a return to your comfort zone. It's like you don't have to choose to either one of these two because it's coming from the devil, right? We saw in the first part. You are already in a very strong but also very uplifting place that if you stay there a little longer it's like you have the energy to refuel yourself right to drink from the source that you are you can be your own motivator to find the happiness where you are and i feel like this is exactly the doorway for this third path for this magical path that was being hidden from you because it was being prepared for you to bring this perfection to really amaze you just as I am amazed right now with the cards that are here in the extended. So it's like stay where you are right now because that is exactly what you need to do, right? You are in a really, really good place. So, and you know, I mean internally, which is, you know, starting to reflect outwardly but it's all inside of you like you are your own guiding light you are well we saw you know the sun and the star at the bottom of the deck from the first part i apologize for the noise <laughs> okay so um you are your guiding light you are this uh the source of guidance that you need right now so trust yourself trust only yourself if anyone comes to you saying oh you should do this or you should do that you know don't trust anyone but you right now because we are starting with nothing else but the full i mean if we are talking about this new path that is about to open up for you it is here right the full is the first major arcana so it's talking about a brand new path, this third path that was still in the making, right? This magician, especially with this three of cups that we saw from the first part, it's like it was still being co-created. It was still being uh, put this, the magical finishes, right? And so here it is, it's like the path. And this is interesting because the fool is not coming through so much as you, Although, yes, you are appearing here as the middle card, which is, you know, in the same position, actually, as the sun that was representing you in the first part. And the card that is in the center of the spread here is this page of wands, uh, sorry, the page of cups. So we're going to get there. But the interesting thing is that this fool is more talking about this third path. It's like this brand new way that is opening up for you so it's almost like um what is that saying uh the the road less traveled it's like you know these two these two paths right were paved roads it's almost like these were two roads the options that you thought you had or the only options that you thought were being presented to you by these by the devil right it's like these two are paved or at least they were more traveled, right? Because you see clearly the way through, right? So this third path in the middle, which is brand new, it's the road that is less traveled. So there is no markings, right? There is nothing ahead of you that you can see further enough to um, think that it was an option to begin with right so it's brand new it's something that is still about to be discovered it's about to be explored it's what i just heard it's like you are the explorer of this third path 
that's definitely going to be the title for today's reading, The Third Path. Um, so this is you understanding or seeing for the first time that this third way is possible because it's here, right? And it's opening the extended, so it's setting the tone. And, you know, I usually like to compare also the two opening cards. So it's like this devil, it's coming through as uh, almost like the, uh, like a, not waste of energy, but perhaps, yes, but it's also coming through as um, worn out. You know, this is almost like, you know, old news. And this is coming through as fresh and just new and so exciting. So there is no comparison really, you know, between what choice you should make right now, right? Because this new path, it's so much more exciting even though it's less travel. So there are more unknown factors, right? Um, so staying where you are to feel like the moment for you know uh the beginning of this travel to uh really show up in front of you it's like it is perfect just staying where you are is perfect because we have these three very interesting cards so we have the Five of Pentacles and, you know, I mentioned the Five of Pentacles in the first part. So this is what I'm saying, like the cards always amaze me. It happened yesterday also with the Queen of Cups when it showed after the King of Cups. And now it happened with the Five of Pentacles, even though I was already seeing with the Sun in the first part that, you know, you found a place of illumination for you to be in right now and to stay there a little longer. Just enjoy and bask in the sun, you know, it's like um, staying where you are with this Five of Pentacles, especially because we have you showing up here as the Page of Cups, right? And then followed by the Eight of Pentacles, which we're going to get there because it's coming through with the message that it's a little bit different than uh, what usually I see when these two cards are coming together, right? Um, so the Five of Pentacles here is talking about where you are right now. The place that you are right now that is perfect because it's like the matching the perfect it's almost like you are the perfect key for the keyhole meaning you are the one that resonates with this path right with the full path so it's just because you know the images are so similar so this is like the um, the next step this is the third path unfolding and opening up for you even though it is less traveled so yes there are unknown hidden factors still but you only see it once you give you know the first steps so what this is talking about well let's talk about a little bit about you here coming with the page of cups so Aquarius since you knew that you are well you felt like the goodness right within you so staying where you are shouldn't feel like a burden it's like almost like this intuitive knowing that staying where you are is part of this co-creation process that is still information that is now being shown to you that was the creation of this third path and so this third path is made for you because you made it in a sense it's like this you by staying where you were by you know letting go of the juggling act act that you thought you had to stay within right uh, thinking that you had to choose between two options really staying where you are was part of the co-creation of the magic that is now showing itself to you as this third option, as this third way, as this new, brand new third um, path. So this is a journey that you are co-creating. This is a journey that by remaining in this, while well, basking the sun and remaining in the sunshine that you are so strongly connected to and um, feeding yourself with the sunshine it's like you 
you know in your heart that you created this opening, this third gate, this uh, third path by staying where you are. And so because there is a lot of certainty in your heart and there is this excitement of, you know, going on this um, exploration of a new terrain, of a path that nobody traveled before, it is exciting. So leaving, this is very interesting. So here it is you staying where you are, right? And here it is also the five is here with the three pentacles here. So this is when I feel like you take the first steps forward. It's like the moment when you understand and you feel in your heart that you have co-created this third option, right? It's when you feel like it's the moment for you to start walking it, you know, with your two feet. It's like something that, it's like the signal perhaps that you, the place that you are, it's like, it's not that you even have um, outgrown it. It's almost like the excitement to go, right? And the excitement really grows, really. <laughs> so we have the six of cups, the nine of wands and the seven of cups. So, well, we have, you know, two cups in the middle. Uh, we have the wands. So this is the excitement growing, but also how, well, you came here as the page of cups. So whatever is inside your heart, it's actually what is coming right now. It's like this path that you started to walk, that you, you know, open the, the doorway into this third path. It's like, and it's now starting to happen more physically or uh, more concretely this six of cups well and actually followed by the seven of cups it's like there is this unfolding that is showing how the excitement can be joined with love and just goodness it's like all of these cups these are all your energy and the energy that is being uh, you know, mixed with the path itself because you co-created. So the third path is less travel because it's only possible. You can only open the gate for this new journey with your own energy. It's like with your own creative energy that comes from your heart. This is like the path that is being shown to you as you travel it. So what this Six of Cups is talking about is like, so what I heard actually when this card came through is remember only that, just that word, remember. So I feel like in a sense, this third path will feel familiar, but not the same familiarity of this one because this one was just safe because this was the road that perhaps you had already traveled, right? You knew it already. In contrast to this one, which is brand new, it's like, and it is in resonance with you and your heart because it is your doing. You co-created. It was, well, being co-created with the universe. It was being manifested with your co-participation, right? And so it is, this heart resonance that fills your heart with more and more love but also shows you it's it's incredible how this nine of uh ones that actually showed up in yesterday's reading also um but it this card is you know very often now coming through as this path of flowers so if the devil was presenting you the paved roads right these two very much traveled paths right um it's like they were too gray too worn out and this one is brand new because it's like the path it's just bloomy it's just it's like you are feeling like there is this remembrance but it's not a remembrance from the past it's almost like a remembrance from the future if if it's possible i don't know if this is possible or not it's actually something that i've been thinking really a lot about you know is it possible to have a memory from the future um but this card is coming through as that because there is this resonance in your heart that this third path although you have never traveled it and nobody else did before you 
it is just blooming with a lot of heart connection with a lot of heart resonance there is this remembrance that is coming from this unknown which is so hard to articulate really because it is beautiful it is enticing it is exciting it is emotional right um but it's instigating it's almost like you want to discover what's ahead and you are it's like this seven of cups ending this part of the reading it's like the perfect um it's almost like coming through as a as like the bubble of love that is surrounding you in this path because this new journey that you are traveling now that it's just opening up that it's so fresh it's like there are fresh flowers that are just blooming and you feel in your heart that this is the way to go that this is almost like this remembrance from the future right this memory that now it's starting to feel your heart because you are surrounded by this bubble of love that is protecting you right no matter where you go and whatever unknown factor is still ahead of you it's like you know that you are surrounded by love so to end with this bubble of love i feel like uh saying that staying where you are in the sunshine is preparing you to be surrounded by even more beauty by even more goodness by even more you know just jaw jaw dropping beauty because it's like this path is so filled with love and just beauty it's coming through as beauty um so i feel like you are you are too perhaps going to be surprised because it resonates so much to the point that could be very emotional but also very exciting so it's you know good feelings and being protected by this bubble of love so this is so gorgeous um actually let's see what the astrological runes have to add as a final guidance for you Aquarius so you know right now I'm just thinking should I call this reading the third path should I call it the bubble of love because it's like so there are so many rich informations here but I feel like you you are still it's like it's very premature to it's almost like this is a heads up right but right now it's like it's very premature because the magic is still hidden from you but it will be revealed right when this path is fully formed right because you are co-creating still and you are co-creating it because you are basking in the sunshine so the longer you stay there it's like the it's like you are almost like you're collecting the nutrients it's what i just heard for this blooming of the flowers in your path in this brand new path right so it's almost like you are going to be the sunshine that is going to feed the flowers around you that's why you're going to be surrounded by so much love by this bubble of love this is the protection that you hold it's like the amount of light that you you hold within which is so it's so beautiful it's like such a uh, a beautiful corner to turn if you feel like you are being pushed or pressured to choose between two things that are not appealing to you right so you can create the third option this is mainly what is coming through it's like you are the co-creator of this new journey this third path so um let's see what the astrological runes have to add as a final guidance for you <sighs> Okay, so we have two runes. <sighs> okay, so actually we have two planets here. We have Uranus, which is actually your ruler, Aquarius, and Venus. And Venus came through yesterday also for Capricorn. So that's also, you know, the connection to what is still lingering from, you know, perhaps the path that you have traveled uh, to come to the place that you are but what it, this is talking about is like the beauty in the path comes with a lot of change and these are changes that you want to 
live that you want to experience it's like you are prepared it's almost like you are being guided by two of the you know very potent uh planets right now well these two planets right because we're talking about you know venus in pisces right now and this uranus who's in taurus and taurus is ruled by venus so this is all talking about like feel that despite thinking that you have to choose you are in a really good place and changes are going to come this new path is going to open up for you because you are co-creating it you are you know it's almost like with your own beauty you are co-creating this new path that is going to change everything for you it's like whatever is about to unfold is brand new it's something that is completely different from what you have it's the difference, you know, this is the thing, right? It's the difference between the devil and the fool. It's like this worn out, ancient, old, very, you know, um, it's like a very um, outdated energy. And the fool is like the, it's almost like the, the freshest energy ever. It's like the most precious energy that you can fine for herself because it's so new and this is what this uranus is talking about it's like this is the new time this is the new path this is the change that perhaps you wanted to live but if you went through the two paths that the devil was presenting you with it's like it was going to be you know more of the same old same old but because you are allowing yourself to bask you know, long enough in the sun to refresh yourself, to energize yourself, to collect all of this energy. It's like you're creating this amount of, you know, sunlight storage in you that is just so beautiful. It's interesting how sometimes, you know, uh, this Venus comes through as relationships as it did, you know, for Capricorn yesterday, but actually today as it joins, you know, Uranus is talking about how beautiful this life-changing path that you are co-creating is because the beauty is coming from you right you are the source of light you are the source of beauty that is uh helping to create this path that is going to change everything um and it's going to show you how powerful you are right it's like this is your ruler aquarius this is like this is the energy that you feel very comfortable in so the changes that this uterus is presenting it's like this something out of this world is something that it's like it's never been created right it hasn't been paved because you are just now exploring it you are just now traveling it oh my god this is so powerful i don't know what else to say but i feel like this is you know still you know um a chapter to be experienced a chapter to be uh explored it is brand new and i feel like you are in the moment of just charging yourself you know storing all of this light so stay where you are you will feel in your heart you will feel the resonance of you know the beauty that is just pulling you because it's part of who you are because you co-created it okay so um thank you so so much for being with me here today uh i hope this was insightful for you i hope this was um illuminating for you you are already very illuminated aquarius but i hope this message you know brings you even more light and just insight really for this moment that you are right now so thank you so so much and i'll see you next time okay take care bye